In this video, we will go over how to set up a ball screw stage actuator powered by a stepper motor using the Arcus Servo Titan SVX ET2 controller. Here is a Titan SVX ET2 with a ball screw stage actuator with a 24 volt power supply. For communication, we can use USB or Ethernet. For this demo, we will use Ethernet and confirm that the communication is working. For setting up Ethernet communication, please check the Ethernet communication setup tutorial. Go to the motor setup window, open the previously made motor database, and download the parameters to the Titan. If you do not have the motor database, check out our motor setup tutorial videos. Since the motor is connected to the linear actuator, we need to determine the new inertia and friction values. Go to the tuning page. Here, we can manually enter the new inertia and friction values, or we can use the automatic detection routine. Click the auto detect button and check the acknowledgement box to proceed. Next, set up the soft limits. You can either disable the motor and manually move the motor to set the limits, or enable the motor and jog it to set the limits. For this demo, we will use jogging to set up the limits. Note that when jogging, make sure to use a slow speed and be careful not to hit the hard stops. Click Enable and set the velocity to 100 and the acceleration to 3000. Jog in the negative direction and set the minus limit. Jog in the positive direction and set the positive limit. Click the Enable Soft Limit checkbox. Click Next. Set the Move Acceleration value to 20,000 and leave the other values as is. Perform the auto detect routine to get the new estimated parameters. You will see the new inertia, viscous, and coulomb friction values. Click apply, run again to get a new set of values. Generally, the higher the acceleration value, the more accurate the values will be, but the motion may be jerkier. Also, Please note that while inertia and friction values are approximate estimations, the servo control with the proper gain and filter settings compensate for any deviations. Click Next to close the auto detect window, go back to the test drive, disable the soft limit, and run some jogging tests. We see that the direction of the motor is running opposite of what we want. So let's go to the configuration screen and change the direction of the motion. Move the position near the motor end and set the value as zero by double clicking on the current position and entering zero. Move the position to the other end of the motor. We see that this position range has a value of around 200,000. Perform target moves by entering the two end positions and moving between positions 0 and 200,000. Double click on the chart. Check the two target positions and the speed. Click the cycle motion button. This will automatically generate a motion program for moving between positions 1 and 2. Check out our other tutorials on the hard stop and index homing, and thanks for watching. For more information, visit the Arcus Servo website at www.arcusservo.com.